What was the most defining moment for this team? The most defining moment was on January 26, 2020, playing up in Corvallis. We felt a lot of pressure because we had never swept OSU. Um, we had been looking forward to it all year. It's a big rivalry, as everyone knows. And the moment that we found out what happened before the game, it was just completely forgotten. We were, we had just got to the locker room. We were putting our shoes on when we heard the news. We say people come. We say people come. I was sitting next to Sab when she found out. Um, and my heart just hurt. You feel it, it's right in your face and it's like, I will run through a wall for my teammate when you're in a situation like that. And it really puts that saying of you play for your teammates in perspective and you really do. It was really hard, I think, seeing one of my best friends and a teammate be affected like that before the game it was really something that never happened to me before. And it just, it's something that I will always remember. To come together like we did took a lot of strength. It was a moment, it was a surreal moment that we really had to come together and lift someone up that you love. I think everyone was hurting a lot, especially for Sabrina because she was very close to Kobe and we knew how much he meant to her. The feeling of love and unity and compassion and care was unlike anything I ever felt in my life. Proud of the team who kind of stepped up for their sister Sabrina and, uh, and helped her. And I know almost to the person, they said, we're going to do this for you, we're going to do this for you, we're going to do this for you, Sarah. When the buzzer sounded, I was just singing, oh my God, is Sab okay? All we could think about was how much we needed to be there for Sabrina and how much we needed to love and appreciate each other every moment that we have together. I've never been a part of something so like moving and like you could feel the love between us and you could feel the connection that we had for each other and that like that moment was anything could happen in the world and we'd be there for each other and it'd be okay because we had each other. We didn't care about the stats, we didn't care about the score, we didn't care about the outcome. It was us coming together and supporting someone who was hurting. we get kind of caught up in in the games and the stats and the awards that we sometimes forget about what's really important in life. I think um, at the beginning of the season we were thinking about staying mad and it was all about basketball. It was all about what we could do to win and, and get to a Final Four, get to a national championship. But now I think we realize that it's a lot more than just about basketball. It's about um, our society, it's about our team, it's about this community that we built here and it's about uniting people and bringing people with you and trying to lift people up and it's not really just about you as an individual and your accolades and, and winning, it's really more about life. God is watching me. God is, God don't praise me because I beat Joe Frazier. God don't give nothing about Joe Frazier. God don't care nothing about England or America as far as your wealth is all his. He wants to know how do we treat each other? How do we help each other? So, I'm going to dedicate my life to using my name and popularity, helping charities, helping people, uniting people, bringing people bumming each other because of religious beliefs. We need somebody in the world to help us make peace. So when I die, if there's a heaven, I want to see it. <laughs>